All right, you guys asked for it. We are finally doing a sleeper mod build, four hundred and fifty dollars. But before we, wow, I almost, I almost <laughs> stole wow, your Wow, you just took the whole intro. <laughs> are you what doing, am I doing? doing? Yeah. But you know what? Before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Do you need help with YouTube? Are you ready to take the next step and make your channel bigger? All right, well listen up. I got just a thing for you. It's called TubeBuddy. It's an extension tailored for YouTube and it offers all kinds of tools. One of my favorite is the Tag Suggester and another one of my favorite is the Best Time to Upload feature. But that's only to name a few. So go check it out for yourself in the link down below. All right guys, so yes, you all have asked for it. We are making a sleeper PC. So we ended up getting this beige beauty over here, uh, given to us, just basically someone's getting rid of an old computer. And you know, we thought we had some hardware lying around and maybe could complete a somewhat capable sleeper PC. Now this isn't gonna rock a 2080 Ti and like a 3950X. That'd be cool, but we're not that crazy. So we're making actually a respectable PC uh, using some not so respectable parts and trying to put together a really capable sleeper sleeper PC with a little bit of modding which Jackson will talk about real quick. So the good news with this case is that so far we don't see any major mods that we really need to do. Um, it actually looks to be standard ATX. The board that's in there is kind of funky looking but we kind of measured the holes and everything and they seem like they'll line up with micro and standard uh, full size ATX. So we actually have the side panels off right now because one of them is currently getting a clear side panel put onto it. So we actually are laser cutting the hole and then we're actually laser cutting the acrylic um, and then we're basically just gonna glue it on and we'll have a, a sleeper build with a side panel. So it's basically not just your standard sleeper where you don't know exactly what's going on. You can kind of peek in and see what's going on. And it looks a little bit modern Plus at the same RGB, time. Yeah. So it's a Toasty Bros taste of a uh, sleeper PC. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the specs and exactly how it makes up this build and then start cleaning this thing up because it definitely needs a little bit of love. All right guys, so what we have here is actually a little bit of a throwback, but at the same time, it's not a throwback. This is the AMD Ryzen 5 1600, but it's the AF. So basically, on Amazon, they're trying to kind of get rid of their you know last 1600s, but these are basically 2600s. They're actually on the 12 nanometer die, um, which interestingly enough, basically makes this a 2600, but it still says 1600 on it. So it does come with a Wraith Stealth cooler and everything. Um, Honestly, for this build, because we're putting it in an A320 board, this is really about the best you want to go, um, and it's like the cheapest too. I mean, you can get one of these for like $85 with Prime shipping right now. Big thanks to Uncertain Logic for always sending over the amazing Chinese parts that he gets. This is a Galax motherboard. It's an A320M. Uh, Galax is actually a, a name brand, which I think Matt, you know a little bit more about that. A lot that. of GPUs. They make a lot of GPUs. Yeah, they make a lot of GPUs. So I mean, it's it's actually a good looking board. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's not. It's built pretty well. It actually has M.2 on it. So you gotta remember, this is A through 20, right? But we have an M.2. We actually have like room for expansion. You know, we actually have the, uh, the eight pin CPU and everything. Um, we actually have multiple fan headers on it, which normally you don't get with A320s. And it's also actually a black PCB rather than like brown or green. So I mean, honestly, for the, for the price of this board, it's a really good deal. I think we'll actually have an alternate link down below because I'm sure most of you are not gonna be able to find a Galax. Um, and speaking of, you know, off-brand and weird. Uh, the RAM, as you can see, is two different sticks. We have one gr uh, team group stick and we have one, I believe, Micron stick, so I shout out to Crucial. Um, but this is actually just uh, two four gig sticks at, I believe, like 2600 megahertz. We'll have, once again, in the description down below where you can literally buy brand new sticks of matching RAM from someone like Patriot or even uh, Team Group for around $24.99 to $26.99. And it'll also be at $26.66, so that won't be a problem as far as speed and capacity goes. Speaking of this motherboard having an M.2 slot, we went with a silicon power 256 gigabyte M.2 drive. Now, well, it's an M.2, one, we can reduce the cable clutter that would be inside this case because there's literally no cable management room on the back. So, um, and this is old school, so the power supply goes up top. So we'll see how this goes when we actually cable manage this thing. But having one less SATA cable is also really nice and 256 gigabytes is more than enough for a budget system nowadays. Now, as for the graphics card, we're using this uh, 1650 Super again. We used it in the Ultimate Dell Optiplex, which if you haven't seen that, check me out in the top right corner, and our $500 PC, which you all seem to really love. This thing is basically like the new, new RX 580. Uh, it performed very similar to an RX 580, and it comes in at a really nice price point, about $169, but you can get it for $159 if you look at different models. So we'll leave links down below to the best priced one if you're looking to get one. Uh, but this is a two-fan card. It'll definitely fit inside this build, um, and it performs really well. You get all the in stuff if you're interested in that and um, yeah it's a cool new card that we really like 
Now we have to give a big thanks to Corsair because I absolutely forgot that they were gonna send this over to us, but we forgot to order a power supply for this build. And well, this power supply is going in the sleeper build. This is their CV550 series, which I am absolutely excited about because budget power supplies are becoming more readily available from brands like Corsair and they're becoming more affordable again. So stay tuned to some of our future builds because power supplies are getting cheaper guys. But this is around 50 bucks for a 550 watt unit. Not a great price, but it is good enough to get a really high quality power supply from a reputable brand like Corsair. Um, and yeah, thank you again, Corsair. Sorry it has to go in a sleeper build, but that's where it's gonna end up. So what we have right here is a little bit of an upgrade for this older case. This is a 5.25 inch front bay that comes with USB 3, USB 2, and a headphone jack, and I think even um, a mic jack. Yeah, so you got combo jacks right here. So this is just something to add so we can actually get some modern connectivity in the sleeper build. It'll just slide in right here. You know, Do back it. in the days when uh, DVD drives would exist, just go. <laughs> So you get in there, just shove it right in there. But um, this is pretty cheap to get. Um, it's a good upgrade if you are doing something like a sleeper PC. Don't see a lot of people doing it in their sleeper build, so we wanted to give it a shot um, because you know we want to make our sleeper PC actually usable. There's absolutely the, the USB was not quite a, a thing on the front yet. And actually, let's look at the back. Do we got? Yeah, we do have USB. So USB was you know it was invented, but we have two. You know, so. two USBs. That's all we got. And lastly, if we're gonna be doing a side panel, we have to use RGB. So this is another cheap RGB strip that runs off SATA power, comes with a remote. Um, there's a lot of different options you can go with, but guys, it's a 2020 PC build. Even if it's a sleeper, it's gotta have RGB. So how about we go ahead and uh, clean this thing up, make sure everything is gonna work properly, which we're like 99% sure it will, um, maybe 98%. But uh, we're gonna clean this up, make sure it works properly, and then put together a really awesome sleeper build. Let's see how it performs.
right guys, so you just saw this $450 sleeper build. I actually play all the games we threw at it really well. Um, we do want to just throw out there that there is really no fans in this system. You could put a 90 millimeter back here. Um, obviously, it's going to be different for everyone because I doubt there's going to be many people replicating this exact thing. Um, but that 1600 and the 1650, they're so low power that they really do not pull um, much wattage and in turn they don't really put out a lot of heat. So we saw pretty decent temperatures and we don't expect to actually have to add a fan to it really. And in terms of those benchmarks, again, we tested a couple of games. We tested Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, Modern Warfare, we had a couple of issues with some stuttering. It could have to do with our Windows install or maybe just RAM utilization. We were running on high settings, but the game did run well over 60 FPS when it wasn't having a stuttering issue, um, as you can see on screen right here. But it was a really good experience. We were able to test the 1600 AF, which a lot of people asked in our recent $500 build. And honestly, I mean, you can't really know as much of a difference between a 2600. We didn't do any direct comparisons, but it did perform very well. The same goes for games like uh, Rainbow Six Siege, which is an eSports title, as well over 100 FPS into 200s. And then Shadow of the Tomb Raider was around 60 on like high settings. That's where the 1650 is getting a little bit bottlenecked. So that is one area where you might want to lower the settings down to medium if you want to get a good playable result. Um, but really, this system performed very well the main concept was the sleeper aspect of it but the hardware inside definitely doesn't slack so before we go out we also just want to thank Corsair uh, they did send over this power supply which is actually a, a newer product line as far as we know that's budget oriented so you know it's um, just a little bit on the on the lesser side rather than being like super high-end gamer and like modular we didn't need that for this we wanted this to be the cheapest like sleeper build but still perform really well and this Corsair power supply like really fit that uh, very well, so uh, huge sorry to Corsair, but also big thanks to Corsair. Hope you guys like it. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really hope you guys liked this little one-off project. And if you guys like it, let us know down below, and we'll try to do more stuff like this. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Here, wait, come back, come back. I forgot something. All right. If you want to see some live content, follow our Twitch down below. Look at that beautiful lower third that our manager made. Check that out. If it's there. If Maybe it's, there. it's not. I don't know. I mean, right. I'm going to put this in there regardless. Goodbye. So if there's nothing down there, it's going to be really awkward. Yeah. Goodbye.